Hello friends and welcome back. Hope you all are doing fine. Today I am going to demonstrate the working of a temperature sensor. So let's get started. Go to controlEverything.com and search for TMP100. Click the subsequent link that follows. TMP100 is the I2C temperature sensor. These are some of its features. Today, I am going to interface TMP100 with Raspberry Pi using Python. For that, we require a Python code. Our Python code can be found under Resources. Click Resources and under Python Code Sample. The code can be downloaded from here as zip file or it can be found on GitHub. Go to github.com and search for Control Everything Community. Search for TMP100. Click TMP100 and under Python we have our Python code. This is how our Python code looks like. Before we begin, let's see what kind of hardware we require for our project to work. For our hardware, first of all we require a Raspberry Pi. These are the GPIO pins of Raspberry Pi. Next we need an I2C adapter. This I2C adapter is available on controleverything.com. The reason behind the use of an I2C adapter is to simplify the connection between Raspberry Pi and various I2C devices. To make the connection between I2C adapter and the Raspberry Pi, put the I2C adapter onto the GPIO pins and press gently. The next thing we need is our sensor, that is TMP100. For making connection, we require connecting cables. Make sure while you make connection that the brown wire of the connecting cable is connected to the ground terminal of the sensor and same goes to the I2C adapter. To power up the Raspberry Pi, we will require a micro USB cable. This is a micro USB cable. Put it into the power jack of the Raspberry Pi. To provide Raspberry Pi with internet capabilities, we read a LAN cable. This LAN cable is to be inserted into the Ethernet jack of the Raspberry Pi. If it happens so that you don't have a LAN cable, you can also use a Wi-Fi module. This is a Wi-Fi module. So this is all we need for our project to work. Now let's see how to interface our sensor with Raspberry Pi using Python. For our Python code, go to github.com and search for control everything community. Search for TMP100 and click it. Under Python, we have our Python code. Before I jump into Python code, I would like to tell you that I have used SMS library on Raspberry Pi. A link is provided so as to help for the installation of the library. I recommend you to install the library first before you jump into the code. Now let's see how our python code looks like. Click python tmp100.py This is how our python code looks like. First we have imported smbus. Now here I have imported time library for delay. Here I am creating an i2c bus. Now I am writing a command onto the sensor for continuous conversion and 12-bit resolution. I am waiting for some time for the measurement to take place. Now I am reading 2 bytes of data back from the sensor. The conversion of ray data into a valid data is given into the data sheet. Here I am outputting my data onto the console of the Raspberry Pi. To upload our code onto the Raspberry Pi, let's copy all the code and go to terminal. Here, using VI editor, create a file with the name tmp100.py. Paste your code and save your file. To run your file, type python tmp100.py and here our output. When I put my finger onto the sensor, the value changes. And again, now that we are done with the interfacing and working of TMP100, let's talk more about it. TMP100 is a digital temperature sensor 
ideal for negative temperature coefficient and positive temperature coefficient. The device offers a typical accuracy of 1 degree without requiring calibration or external component signal condition. Let's talk about this application. It finds many applications like power supply temperature monitor, computer peripheral thermal protection, cell phones, battery management and the list goes on. For any query or comment, you can contact us on controleverything.com. Make sure to post on our community page. We are happy to serve you. The sensor can be purchased from controleverything.com. For more interesting articles, follow us on our Instructables. Make sure to like our video and subscribe to YouTube channel. At the end, take care and thanks for watching.